What's your name, buddy? Are you here to buy some medicine? Where are your mom and dad? Are you lost? No, I'm not. Um, my name's Ayu, and I'm here because... Hey there, Chi-Chi! Hi, Gwei! What's going on? Hi, Traveler and Paimon. Ah, uh, you've actually come at the perfect time. This little boy seems to have gotten himself lost. I think he must be new to the city. Probably wandered away from his parents and... No, listen to me! I'm not the one who's lost! It's my dad! Your dad? How does a fully grown man manage to get lost in Leeway Harbor? Well, my dad's always been kind of forgetful. In the past, he was just a little slow to react sometimes. But I'm worried that it's getting more serious. So, what about your mom? She went out a few days ago to gather some herbs for my dad, but she still hasn't come back. Meanwhile, my dad's been getting worse and worse. I remembered that the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs a clinic in Chingsa Village during the Lantern Rite. So I thought, why don't I take Dad to Leeway Harbor to see him there? When we got to the city gate, I took a moment to ask the mill with guards for directions to the pharmacy. And then, when I turned back around, my dad was gone! I asked the Millith guys to go find him, but he said they won't be able to send that many people. So then I figured, maybe I can ask some other people in the city to help. You came to the right place. We're pros at finding people. Isn't that right, Traveler? Changshan can help. She has a good sense of smell, like a dog. Hey, who's talking about me behind my back? Chengsheng, Chi Chi meant that as a compliment. There's no need to be upset. Hello, child. You mentioned that you were looking for the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. How might we be of service? You have a talking snake? Oh, are you Uncle Baiju? <laughs> Uncle Baiju? Chengsheng, now's not the time. My dear boy, could you tell me more about your father's condition? as much as you can recall. Yes, Uncle... Uh, Dr. Baiju. I see. And your family lives near Chingsa Village, you say? I visit patients there frequently, but I don't recall ever seeing you or your parents. Uh-huh. My mom doesn't like meeting other people, especially during Lantern Rite. She always tells me to just stay at home and keep my dad company. Hmm, is that so? Ayu, by any chance, is your mother's name Jiangli? Whoa, yeah, it is. Do you know my mom, Dr. Baiju? I certainly do. Gui, Chi Chi, are there any pressing matters in the pharmacy at the moment? Ayu's parents are old acquaintances of mine, so I would very much like to assist with the search. Would the two of you have time to join me? Don't forget us two! Oh, really? Well, that's wonderful. We are most grateful for your support. Chi-Chi and I need to clear up the shop front first, but once that's taken care of, we'll be right out to help you with the search. Family is... very important. Thank you. Then I'll leave you to handle the pharmacy. Traveler, Paimon, why don't you come with me and Ayu? Let's start by talking to the Millilith guards at the city gates, see if they have an update. They searched to the north, but couldn't find anyone who matched the description. <sighs> well, that complicates things. The city folks say there's no sign of them either. We need to start looking further afield. But where are we going to get the people? Excuse me, sirs. Have you found out anything about my dad yet? Ah, hey there, buddy. Dr. Baiju. What brings you out this way? The boy asked for our help, so we're here to join the search. Any new developments to update us on? Oh, thank goodness. We were just discussing how we're running out of manpower. As for updates... I'm sorry to say that we've searched the surrounding area thoroughly, but didn't find anything. The guards at the crossing up ahead said they hadn't seen anyone either. 
so we don't believe he was heading towards the Guayli Plains. But it is possible that he was bound for Lu Hua Pool. Lu Hua Pool? The terrain there can be tricky to navigate. Let's hope he hasn't run into any trouble. You will? Ah, oh, great. We can't thank you enough. Sorry we weren't able to find your dad, buddy. That's okay. Thank you for trying. Oh no! It's... Hey, you! Stop! Don't go any further! Watch where you're going! Oh, dear customer, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor does appreciate your patronage, but you needn't hasten the inevitable. Are you all right? Huh? Dad! Hey, Hotel! My, my, who do we have here? Mm hmm. It's the Traveler in Paimon, and... Ugh, my worst nightmare. <laughs> I see she still hasn't warmed to you. <laughs> Thank you, Director Hu, for saving this man. Dad, are you okay? Do you recognize me? It's me, Ayu! Uh, uh, you're... Ayu? Uh, 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 who am I? Your name is Jia Liang, and you live just west of Qingsa Village. You were supposed to come to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor, remember? Does that jog your memory? Oh, uh, uh, my name is Jia Liang? Uh, Liyue Harbor? See the doctor? Uh, yes, yes, I I'm Jia Liang, and I need to see the doctor. Wait... Uh, why do I need to see the doctor? Uh-oh. He seems in really bad shape. We need to get him back to Boo Boo Pharmacy right away! Sorry, Hotel. Got a dash. Dinner's on us next time! Hold on a second. You're not seriously thinking of taking him to Boo Boo Pharmacy in this state, are you? Huh? Why not? What's the problem? Come on, Baiju. Don't tell me you haven't noticed it. Didn't your master teach you how to spot the signs? Why do I get the sense that you spotted them right away, but you're planning to use it for your own ends? <laughs> use what? What are you talking about? Uh, Paimon's lost. There are traces of god remains in Jia Liang's system. Oh, yes, but more importantly, they're on the verge of an outburst. If that happens, the consequences will be unthinkable! Paimon, sorry, what? G god remains? Hmm. There's no need to worry, Director Hu. I have methods of keeping them at bay. It is the sworn duty of all who practice medicine to cure illnesses and save lives. What reason would I have to neglect a patient in need who is right there in front of me? Besides, it was my late master's dying wish to be able to save this patient in particular. Perhaps out of respect for him, you could give me a day's grace so that I have time to treat him? Now you're bringing my great uncle into this? Baiju, just what are you planning this time? <sighs> Merely to cure this man, nothing more. But of course, if you have any doubt as to my intentions, you are more than welcome to accompany me to Boo Boo Pharmacy and monitor my activities. Oh, really? I thought I was persona non grata at Boo Boo Pharmacy. You're being unusually generous today. Okay, deal. We're not going to solve anything by keeping Jia Liang here. I'm happy to do it your way, but only for my great uncle's sake and the Traveler's, of course. You must be pleased you brought the Traveler along. Otherwise, this would have been a much more vexing ordeal. Well, time is of the essence. Let's get ourselves back to Boo Boo Pharmacy at once. Hmm, 
blockages within the cardiovascular system? Reduced blood flow and energy circulation? I see. I suppose this must have caused the cognitive abnormalities. Dr. Baiju, how bad is it? Can you cure him? Don't you worry. Baiju's a really great doctor. He's sure to find a way. Isn't that right, Baiju? Ayu, do you know when your father first started displaying these symptoms? Um, I'm not sure. He's been like this for as long as I can remember. But it wasn't as bad as this when I was still little. Hmm, so it's been a long time indeed. No, I have a treatment plan in mind. We can start tonight. Come and see me again tomorrow morning. I promise that by then, Ayu will find his father healthy and lucid again. Thank you, Dr. Baiju. Thank you so much. If you still have any misgivings, Director Hu, please feel free to hang around for as long as you wish. However, it would be best if you step outside this room. A doctor must be able to focus when treating a patient. Any distractions heighten the risk of complications. Yes, of course, absolutely. I'll just go and look at the flowers or something. But I will be back in an instant at the first sign that something's amiss. See you tomorrow, Baiju and Chang Chang. <sighs> Bye for now, everyone. Are you ready, Baiju? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm used to it by now. Come on, let's get started. <sighs> All's well that ends well, huh? You know, Paimon's kind of curious after hearing Baiju mention those people from his past. What do you think they were like? Yeah. You must be curious too, right? Let's go see what we can find out while Baiju's busy treating Ayu's dad! While I'm idling time on admiring the scenery, the spectacled snake bedecked docks doing surgery. Hello, you busy bees, and what do you have to discuss with the funeral director today? Actually, don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm. From the looks on your faces, you've got some questions for me. Uh, <laughs> guilty as charged. So, um, we were just a little curious about Baiju's master. What was he like? Oh, and also, how come you and Baiju could tell so quickly that Jia Liang had God remains in his system? Uh-huh. I thought I told you once before. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor was first founded to fight back against the vengeful wrath of gods defeated in war. <laughs> well, it is a dusty old tale by this point. Long story short, in the ancient world, dead gods were acting up. So our ancestors started purifying the air and burning the bodies of the deceased to guard the border between life and death. These days, we don't deal with the wrath of the gods anymore, but all the relevant know-how is still passed down to each generation, so we can identify gods' remains when we see them. Okay, Paima gets it now. Wait, so how did Baiju learn to spot them? Almost certainly from his master, who was also my great uncle. Baiju's master was my grandpa's younger brother, a former deputy director of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Wow, fancy that! Huh. Uh, so, if he was from Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor, how did he end up as Baiju's master? According to my grandpa, he and my great uncle once went traveling together when they were young. They ended up at Chen Yu Vale, where they met a pharmacist. That pharmacist must have cast some sort of spell on my great uncle, because after that encounter, he suddenly announced he wanted to leave the family business and go practice medicine instead. My grandpa had a huge argument with him, but he couldn't convince him to stay. 
So my grandpa inherited the funeral parlor, while my great uncle stayed in Chen Yu Vale to practice medicine. They never spoke to each other again. Funeral director to doctor is a pretty big career change. Kinda hard to imagine. But why did it drive a wedge between them for the rest of their lives? That seems a bit extreme. If he had just become a regular doctor, there would have been no issue. After all, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor wasn't unlike a regular doctor's clinic in the early days. But according to my grandpa, the pharmacist they met had a very ominous aura about him. And on top of that, the kind of medicine practiced in the Chen Yu Vale tradition goes against the natural order of things. In what way? Don't know. My grandpa didn't know the specifics. And you've seen how wary Baiju is around me. He'd never tell me anything. But even that says to me that he definitely has something to hide. One thing I do know about Baiju is that he's obsessed with the idea of immortality. But whether that has anything to do with what he's hiding is hard to say. Anyway, so I will be sticking around here for now to keep a close eye on the situation. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally figure out what he's up to. Dad! Uh, huh? Oh, are you? Dad, you remember me! Yes, I remember now. Oh, are you? I'm so sorry. You must have been worried sick. Has your mom shown up yet? She's... Been gone for a while, hasn't she? Don't worry, Dad. I got the Adventurer's Guild to help us look for her. And Dr. Baiju's gonna help too. Right now, all you need to do is concentrate on getting better. Great. That's wonderful. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Baiju. My pleasure, really. It's the least I can do to honor my late master's dying wish. If anything, I should be apologizing to you for not making the time to visit in all these years. <laughs> not at all, Dr. Baiju. It's only because Jiang Li... Uh... Hmm... What was her reason again? You're still in the early stages of recovery, so you'll need to take it easy for a while. Take it slowly and try not to overexert yourself. I suggest you stay at Boo Boo Pharmacy and rest for at least the next few days. Director Hu, do you have any further reservations about Jia Liang's condition? Mm, it seems like the evil presence is gone after all. You really did manage to suppress it, huh? But how did you accomplish this in a single night? <laughs> that would be a trade secret, I'm afraid. If that gives you any cause for concern, you may continue to monitor Jia Liang for as long as you wish. Though, I regret to say that Boo Boo Pharmacy cannot offer to reimburse Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor for any revenue lost in the meantime. Oh, come on, Baiju! I'm not that unreasonable! Ah... Nah, I've been stuck indoors for too long. Baiju, take me outside for some air, or I'm going to suffocate. Ah, yes, of course. Everyone, please excuse Changsheng and myself for a moment. <coughs> Suffering now, are we? Did you seriously expect to cover it up just by putting on a brave face and ignoring it? If it weren't for my quick thinking, they'd have all seen the sorry state you're in by now. <sighs> but in any case, why must you keep this a secret from everybody? You should at least share your secret with one person you trust. Who's there? Why did you follow us here?
Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. I just needed to get some air. <coughs> what did I just say about putting on a brave face? <sighs> Traveler, Paimon, the truth is, Baiju did not cure Jialiang's illness. Instead, he transferred some of his own life force to his patient to temporarily subdue the poison in his system. <sighs> Baiju, can you please explain all of this? My predecessors in medicine forged a contract with Changsheng. Every successor to this contract is able to use Changsheng's secret art to treat patients. I believe the irregularities with Jia Liang's heart meridian were likely caused by a poison concocted using god remains as a key ingredient. The poison has not been purged from Jia Liang's system. Rather, I infused him with some of my own life force, using Changsheng as the delivery medium. This will suppress the poison's effects for a limited time. Changsheng? You can do that? Paimon always thought you were just Baiju's strange choice of a necklace. Hey, I'll have you know that I commanded the respect of even the Adepti back in Chenyu Vale. If anything, he is my mannequin. I was treating patients with Baiju's master's master long before he ever set eyes on his first medical text. Whoa, guess you shouldn't judge a snake by its skin. Please, that's enough. <coughs> Wait a sec. Huto was saying that the branch of medicine you studied uses some pretty dubious methods. So, when you transfer your life force, does that mean you're actually damaging your own body? Hardly. <laughs> Changsheng helps to keep my chi in balance, so there is no great harm done. Still... Baiju's life force is not unlimited. We must find a way to neutralize the poison in Jialiang's body. And soon. Traveler, Paimon, would you lend this dummy a hand? He needs someone checking up on him, or he'll exhaust himself trying to accomplish everything on his own. <sighs> Baiju, don't you think you should seize this opportunity? You cannot expect to hide this from everyone for your entire life. Time will see that all secrets surface eventually. Entire life. Thank you, Traveler and Paimon. Huh. Paimon doesn't think we've seen this side of you. But there's no need to thank us. You've helped us out before. The poison in Jia Liang's system must have accumulated over a prolonged period. I think I should pay a visit to their family home and look for clues as to how he might have been exposed to it. Yes, I asked Ayu this morning before you arrived. He told me that his family lives in a secluded spot to the west of Qingsa village. Let's head there together once I've asked Gui and Chi Chi to look after the pharmacy. As well as investigating Jia Liang's exposure to the poison, we should also keep an eye out for Ayu's missing mother, my fellow disciple Jiang Li. <laughs> <laughs>